What's going on? Welcome to the NFC East Draft Grades, the seventh Draft Grades video. Let's go and get right into it. Their first round pick was a steal, C.D. Lamb. This is an A. Obviously, they don't necessarily need receiver. They have Martin Cooper, Michael Gallup. And Michael Gallup was actually extremely good last year, extremely underrated player. But when C.D. Lamb falls to you and the Eagles are picking you extremely close to you, this is what you do. You pick... You basically, you cock block him. And you take C.D. Lamb. This is a great pick for Dallas to give an A. And not even just that it was a cock block, but he's just a great player in general. And then to get Trayvon Diggs in the second round. And I don't know why people are so low on Diggs, but I think he's a great player. He's a good player. <laughs> I think he's a great player. He's a good player. Uh, I think he's good speed. He's good ball skills. He's good. <laughs> he's good at cover three. He's a good press guy. He's the brother of Stefan Diggs. If you didn't know that, I give that great an A as well. And then they took Navelle Gallimore, who's one of my favorite players in the class. If we, if the Niners didn't draft Javon Kinlaw, this is the guy I wanted to replace Buckner. And he's extremely athletic, gifted. He's extremely gifted, athletic. He's not, he's going to be extremely raw, but he's going to be so much fun to use as an athlete. And you can do a lot for your team. That's an A in my opinion. That's three straight A for Dallas. And then they took Reggie Robinson second. I did not know a lot about this guy. He's from Tulsa. He's 6'1". He's pretty fast, looks like. Yeah, I think he'll be decent. I don't know. I go down to C. Then Tyler Biadash, this is another A. This is a steal. It sounds like he's like injured or something, and teams are scared because Corona and all that. But I think he'll be a good player. I go down. To C. I go down to A. That's a steal. Then they get another steal. Probably an A. This is a really good draft for Dallas. Probably an A. He's a good. He's a pretty good pass rusher. Picked in the fifth round. I give this one an A as well. He's just a really nice pass rusher. Good run defender as well. You do. It's going to be a really nice guy to play for a defensive end spot for Dallas. If Dallas is knocking this draft out of the park, then I don't know who the hell this guy is. But ben DiNucci from James Madison University. I have no idea who this guy is, I'm not going to lie. Literally know absolutely nothing about him. Besides, he's a transfer from Pitt. I, I, I'm just give it a C. I don't, I don't know anything about him. Maybe he'll play Dak. We'll find out. Tony Romo went undrafted. You never know. But overall, Dallas had an amazing draft. I'm going to have an A. That was a really nice draft for them, in my opinion. Lamb, Diggs, Gallimore, Beatish, and Anane. Those are just amazing players, all of them. Wait, I didn't realize I didn't have the AFC West. I had three teams left. Actually, I have two teams left during this. All right. So we're going to see. So where's the next team? <laughs> I got distracted. Uh, let's go to the Giants because this is the first team I saw. All right. Their fourth overall pick. They got Andrew Thomas. And I'm going to spawn an A minus because although I think Andrew Thomas is the best tackle, I think John C. off the line. I'm just talked for the past comments. I'd say Simmons, really. Because I'd say Simmons is just amazing. But I'll give them an A minus because it's still an amazing pick. And it probably should just be an A plus, but whatever. Next, they get Xavier McKinney. That's an amazing pick for them. I'm going to give this one an A. And McKinney is an amazing safety. They have Julian Love, I believe, at safety. And I think McKinney is going to be great to play just in the secondary you can play safety. You can play with Julian Love in slot corner if you want. If you don't want to, like, <laughs> if you want to keep Julian Love on the starting lineup. So slot corner is now a starting position, if you didn't know. Or not officially, but it just, it just should be. But Kenny, he's one, of the he's one of the best safeties in the class. I think he's the third best safety behind Winfield and Delpit. But he's still an amazing safety. It's all really close to the top three safeties. Even top four, you can say. Uh, Ashton Davis, but... McKinney is a really good player. That's an A. That's a great pick. And then next, Matt Pert in the third round. I give this one an A as well. It's a really good pick for the Giants. They need offensive line. They're filling their needs to get Andrew Thomas and Matt Pert. And Pert is a, I think he's really underrated in this class. He's a great blocker. He knows what he's doing. He's a longtime starter for UConn. He's going to be a stud. He's not necessarily like super mauler or anything, but he's just going to be a stud. You should know he's going to be a stud. You can tell on tape. And then the fourth one, I get Darnay Holmes. It's not a really nice pick. I just want an A minus. Like, now usually Dave Gellman gets clowned a lot for being a pretty bad GM. But this draft, he did it really good. And although he signed Blake Martinez at free agency, <laughs> this is a really nice draft for him. I don't know how the hell he did this after signing Blake Martinez, doing what he did last year, Daniel Jones at six. But Darnay Holmes, he's a nice corner. He's speedy, undersized a little bit, but. He's just really good in my opinion. I think Darnay Holmes is a, or, not only really good, but he's a decent player. He's going to be a nice half. I'm going to A-minus. 
Shane Lemieux. All right, Shane. So, you know, I got a Shane Lemieux. It was one B plus. He's a nice player, in my opinion. I actually like him as a player, not just because of his name. Yeah, I think he's going to be a nice player for the Giants. He's got to develop. They need linemen. They got another one. He's a good pick. Now the sixth round, Cam Brown from Penn State. He was a team captain for him. Yeah, he's just the okay player. 6'5", 233. He's probably similar. He's going to be one of those guys who you know, play at edge or play linebacker. Same as the next pick, Carter Coffin from Minnesota. We might as well just talk about him since I already talked. I don't know much about Cam Brown, really. But Coughlin, he actually fell a little bit. I thought he fell a lot earlier than he did. I thought he'd go around fifth round. But he's, he's, like I said, he's one of those guys who wants to play Patriots, Dolphins, Giants, Lions type scheme or anybody who learned from Bill Belichick pretty much. He's one of those edge guys who's uh, extremely versatile and can play, obviously, can play linebacker or edge. He's a very good player. We got one A. Jake Brunson here in the seventh. I have heard of him, but I don't know much about him. I'm pretty sure he's a decent player. I remember him being okay speed wise. I think he's pretty similar to Blake Martinez, honestly. I'm pretty sure. So he might not be that good. I don't know. He's C. Plus. Chris Williamson, I know nothing about him. I'm not going to lie. We get on the C. And then Tay, Tay Crowder, Mr. Irrelevant. The Giants have the Mr. Irrelevant pick. They took a Tay Crowder. I don't even care. A plus. It's A Mr. Rowland. That's on Mac A plus in my opinion. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't want to. I'm getting tired. 2.20 a.m. And I don't. I'm not going to even lie. I don't know much about Tay Crowder. But I think he's actually a decent player. I'm very sure. I'll, I'll read his draft profile. Yeah, there's like nothing about him. So I don't know. It, for real, he's a C. Because I don't know anything about him. But Giants overall, they had a really nice draft by Pin. Gave it a B plus, really good draft. There's been a lot of good drafts. This is a really deep draft class this year. There's a lot of really nice players in this year. All right, next, the Philadelphia Eagles. Their first round pick, they took Jalen Rieger. I think this was an overdraft. I mean, this one would be because obviously they desperately, 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 desperately need a receiver. And unlike the Green Bay Packers, they decided they'd do something about it and get like, I think six or five or six receivers. Another trade for Marquise Goodwin, of course. And I got Rager, and then they drafted, like, I'm pretty sure three more. I'm assuming they got undrafted free agents as well. But Rager, I think he was a reach, but he also, he's extremely fast. He's deep threat. He's, I'm pretty sure all the receivers deals are deep threats. Excuse me. And he's just, I think it's going to be fun to watch Crescent Wins launch it in jail on Rager. We'll see how he does, though. That's a B in my opinion. And their second round pick. One of the worst picks in the draft. Jalen Hurts. Don't get it. I, I think they're using him like Taysom Hill. In that case, maybe I give it a C. But I just don't... I get Carson Wentz gets hurt. I think he could do better. I think he could... Like, if you want a... If you want a backup quarterback in this class, I don't understand why you go for, like, a guy who has a low floor. Like, if you... Even the fact that he took Jordan Love, that's a low floor player. I don't want him being the, like primary backup if you want like if you're not like trying to truly develop someone i'd rather get like jake Fromm or something because he's an extremely high floor but a lower ceiling but Taylor hurts if he plays like Taysom hill we'll see if he just are there just like developing him garrett wentz or something really dumb it's a d minus f grade so i'm just gonna sit, i'm gonna put it between a c and an f i'm gonna put it as a d i don't like the pick and they took Davion Taylor. I don't know a lot about this guy. He's a hybrid linebacker, it says here, of good speed. I just want to see. I don't know much about him. He's probably similar to all the guys out there, like Nigel Bradham, or former guys, I guess, speedy linebackers. We'll see how he does. They could, they did need one. I'll give it a C. I'll give it a B minus. I'll give it a B minus. He's a pick. It was okay. It was okay. <laughs> Uh, then in the fourth round, we got Kayvon Wallace from Clemson. I'm pretty sure he's a decent player. I remember him being nice nickel. Nickelback. I give it a nickelback. I just want to be. I don't know a lot about him. I don't know a lot about. Honestly, I don't know a lot about a lot of these guys. A lot of player around guys. But I do know that Kayvon Wallace, he plays for Clemson. He played for Clemson. And he's a nice player. He's fast. He can do a lot on the field. B. And then the. Uh, and then the Eagles got a very, very good tackle here in Jack Driscoll. This is an A, in my opinion. This is a steal right here. He's an extremely good tackle. He's a great pass blocker. He'll be... He's just going to be a really fun guy to watch when you... Or Carson Wentz is going to really appreciate 
not being hit a lot when he has guys like Jack Driscoll playing guard or tackle or whatever for him. He's a good pass blocker. He's going to be a nice player. That's A. In the fifth round, they drafted John Hightower of Boise State. He doesn't have a profile on this, but I'm pretty sure he's a speedy receiver. I give it a B because it's a receiver if they really need it. And they got one. Now, Sean Brown in the sixth round. It says here's the seventh one linebacker. But he's a good starter. He's fast. He's a decent linebacker. Again, he's just a speedy linebacker. Give it a C plus. Now, Kez Watkins. Give this one an A. I really like Kez Watkins. I kind of want to Irish take him, actually. But Watkins, he's a very speedy player. He's, he's not like extremely tall, but he's a huge big play threat. Direct. Threat. <laughs> he's a big play threat. And he's going to be extremely fun. From Southern Mississippi, he's going to be a fun guy to watch develop. I think he's going to end up being a very nice player. And I give that one an A, in my opinion. And then I give this next one an A as well. Prince Tego Monigo. I don't know why he fell. I think it was an injury thing or something. But he's a very, I think he's a very good lineman. Yeah, I think he's a very good tackle for Auburn. I remember coming to here, he was like a first round projection, but he ended up being sixth round pick. And I think it was because of injuries, and he, str he struggled a little bit last year. Obviously, Jack Driscoll, I believe, was the opposite tackle of him, got picked ahead of him, so that's up a lot. And then their final pick was KC Two Hill from Stanford. And I don't know anything about this guy. Looks like they're saying he's a free fall linebacker. So we'll see. I go down to see. I don't even know if that was a need or not. But overall, Eagles, they started a little slow, but they ended up doing very good later on. They also traded a couple picks. I don't trade one for Marquise Goodwin. Or I think we could swap picks, actually. But it was overall a pretty solid draft. I'll give it a B. I'll, yeah, I'll give it a B. That's overall what I think of that. And then finally, we move on to the Washington Redskins. And their first pick, A plus Chase Young. I'm not going to talk about it. Superstar, we all know about him. Max. The, they didn't have a second round pick traded to the Colts I forget for who but it's the Colts pick but in the third they took Antonio Gibson I do like Gibson as a player but I think it's a little, little early for him so I mean this one is, I'm going to give this one a C plus I think it's a little, just too early for Gibson and I think he'll end up being a decent player now he plays running back and receiver and I'm pretty sure he plays quarterback as well we'll see where he plays for the Red Skins probably receiver because I'm pretty sure they have like no really good receivers but we'll see. It's gonna be. I think he'll be a nice, versatile player. He's probably gonna be a good player. I just think it was early for him. So C plus. Next, Sadiq Charles in the fourth round. This one is C plus as well. I think there are better tackles on the board than Sadiq. And with them, and they had traded Trent Williams like just before this because this was start day three, fourth round pick two. So this is really just like a move to like make up for guy red Trent Williams. And I don't think Sadiq Charles is gonna help very much. When Nick Bosa is completely destroying City Charles. But we'll see. I just don't think Charles is that great. I think LSU's like tackles were overrated, but their guards are like Damian Lewis. I think Damian Lewis is pretty good. Whatever. Let's move on. Antonio Yandy Golden. This is a very nice pick right here. I think this one a B plus. He's a six four receiver. Great. Like all skills. He's he's pretty fast for his size. Or not really fast, but he's he's just Fast enough to get by. He's a good player. I think he's gonna be. A, I think he'll be a very big. I think he'll be a good big play threat. Threat. I can't say. I have to do TH sounds. I think he's gonna be a big, big play threat for Washington. And they get another good receiver there. They get on to B plus. And they take Keith Ishmael, a center from San Diego State. Why did I say center like that? Jesus. But from San Diego State. So he's here's a path blocker. I don't know much about this guy. Although I am a Nevada fan, so I should know about him. But. They took a decent center, I guess. I don't know. I don't know much about him. We'll see if he ends up playing. I'll get on a B, though, because I think he's a good player. <laughs> and then they took Khalid Hudson in the fifth round. I give him this one an B+. Plus. Because I think even though Hudson's undersized, he's extremely... I think he's underrated. He's a very... I think he's going to play safety, ultimately. He's fast. He's a good run defender. I think he's going to play good coverage. He's going to be fun to watch. And I think the Redskins going to very much enjoy having... Holy cuts on their team. It's gonna be a stud. Then it took Cameron Cur Cameron Curl. Last name's Curl. Who uh, who came up with last names? Anyways, Cameron Curl from Arkansas. I honestly don't know much about him. Looks like here is slow. Uh, I'll give it a C. 
And then their final pick, their second seventh round pick, they took James Smith Williams from NC State, defensive end. I don't know if I said that or not. And he ran the fastest 40 of all linemen, so just an athletic guy, take a flyer on, see if you can develop him. That's a good pick, that would be. It's fun to see. And overall, I think the Redskins, okay draft, nothing amazing. They got Chase Young, that's amazing. But other than that, nothing super like special or anything. I'll give that overall, I'll give it a B minus. I don't think they got any, like, other than Chase Young, I don't think they got anybody who's gonna make a huge impact, except for maybe Gandy Golden and maybe Klee Cousin. But that's it for the NFC East. We have two divisions left, even though I said that last time. This time it's true, I swear. <laughs> but uh, this is a little short, I think. I'm starting to get really tired out of this. But hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time. Peace out. Subscribe, like the video. Go Niners. <laughs>